Good morning, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Come on, everybody. How many of you are ready to praise God this morning? Let's worship him in song, in spirit, and in truth. Come on, everybody. How glorious and excellent is our God. How glorious and excellent is our God. How glorious and excellent is our God. Our God, our God, hey. The power is greater
Praise be to God. Amen. Welcome to the virtual worship service of the Wesley United Methodist Church, Austin, Texas, where I, Sylvester <laughs> Everton Chase Jr., am the lead pastor. Once again, we're just coming to just praise God. Amen. We, amen. We like to praise him like it's going to be our last time here whenever we come together. Because so much is going on, we just never know Amen. when it will be our last time giving him all the praise and all the glory. Let everything that has breath right now, come on, give him a hand clap of praise. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we are. First Sunday of November 2021. Yes, yes. November the 7th. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Who would have thought it? <laughs> Who would have thought it? Amen. Yes. We would still be here. So many have been called on home. Amen. Yes, Woo! Yes. That's the truth. This week, last month, last several months, last year, yeah. Mm. It just seems like people we grew up with. It. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah. Lord, it. People we grew up with, the Lord is calling them. Yes. And you know, that, that touches us. Let us know we better get ready too. Yes. Amen. We got to get right. Get right, church. Let's go. Right. So we can go home too. Amen. Yes, Amen. All right. Get right, church. Look at here. Look at here. Look at here. Look. This first Sunday in November, don't forget, is Communion Sunday. Communion Sunday. Get your elements, communion elements ready at home. All right. Get your crackers, your bread, your juice, or your water, or whatever, and get it prepared there before you. So when we come to that part in the service, you will be partaking of this sacrament. All right? Yeah. We're the body. Even though we're separated, we're still the body of Christ. Christ. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, we're yes, still yeah, the body. Amen. Hey, man. Yeah, All man. right. Look, Monday, this past Monday, November the 1st, is what we call All Saints Day. This past Monday. It's on the calendar. Y'all saw it on the calendar. It was All Saints Day. And in the United Methodist Church, Every year, the first Sunday in November, we call it All Saints Sunday. Every year. A lot of times we have missed it, and that's been my fault, because we recognize people all the time who have passed and gone on. But on the first Sunday of November, every year in the United Methodist Church is All Saints Sunday. And from one November to the next, we are to remember those who the Lord have called home Amen. in each and every congregation. Yes. And since last November until now, we have had several people who have passed here in the Wesley yes. Church family. Woo, I feel their spirit right now yes, in this place. And this Sunday morning, we have before us the candles on this table and we're going to light a candle in memory of those individuals because we know that they are at home with the Lord. Yeah. And I got a, my lighter here. There we go. Now since last November, I am going to call out the names one by one of those who have passed in the Wesley Church family. And I will light a candle in their memory as we think about them. Someone says precious memories, how they linger. Oh, hallelujah. Now, last November, we start with God bless her soul. The Lord called her home. Sister Linda Edison. Woo. Thanks be to God for the life of Sister Linda Edison. Woo. 
precious memories right next. Hallelujah. And then we moved on into 2021. Another faithful soul the Lord called home. We light this other white candle in the memory of one of God's great ushers, Sister Laura Jai. She might be leading the ushers march right now somewhere, I don't know. Ah, if they got one going on in heaven, I know she's leading it, amen. 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 Sister Laura Giles, blessed be her spirits. And then later on in that month of April, what a man, brother Roy Harris was called home. Brother Roy Harris. Oh, right now, if he was here, he would be with us somewhere up in this choir. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Over there in that corner seat up there. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yeah, Brother Roy Harris. Brother Roy, we miss you, brother. Then as we move on later on in the year 2021, what a man he was. The Lord called him home. Brother James Smith. Brother James Smith, what a spirit. Him and his family, his wife and all, Stood, Brother James Smith, precious memories linger. Right now, we remember you, we haven't forgotten. And then, just a few months ago, I light another candle in the memory of one who the Lord called, up, called home. And, woo, Lord, she was a mother to all of us. Sister Margaret. Half Scott. Sister Margaret, I know you're watching. <laughs> family missed you, church family missed you. We are carrying on the best that we can. What a communion stood she was, amen. You know, around, around Sister Margaret Tapscott, I would act right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. She demanded that type of respect. Amen. Amen. Listen. Amen. Well, she would always tell me, Reverend, you know better than that. Amen. She would let me know. And then, just the other day, the Lord called another one of our faithful members home here at Wesley, Sister Billy Nell Chambers. We light this last candle. Woo, glory, yes. Sister Billy Nail. Good God Almighty. You know she likes to be in charge. I don't know if they're in heaven. I, amen. I know she's in charge telling Brother Melvin and Brother Charles Akins. I know she's trying to control them. Amen. Hallelujah to those names. We have lifted up Sister Linda Edison, Sister Laura Giles, Brother Roy Harris, Brother James Smith, Sister Margaret Tapscott, and Sister Billy Nell Chamber. Lord, we thank you for letting these saints live among us. Oh, yes, we praise you, Lord. Oh, they made an impact upon this church and in the community. Yes. Their families, oh God, miss them right now. They're still mourning and crying, oh God, but soon and very soon, hopefully we'll see each other again. 
Now, Lord, we thank you for this moment. And as we have remembered the faithful who have died recently in Weston. But, Lord, for all of those who have gone on home from Weston, hopefully they are rejoicing, rejoicing with you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, Amen. let the church say what? Amen. 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 Oh, God. Amen. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, God, today. Thank you, Lord. You know what? I'm thinking about others. I don't know if you might have some friends, some family members. You might be thinking about them. Put their names in the chat. You know, I'm sitting up here <laughs> thinking about my sister. Lord, have mercy. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Mm. We never, never like to see loved ones leave us, do we? Put names in the chat that you remember right now. I said, Lord, thank you for their, their spirit. By and by, yes, sir, yes, sir. when we all get to heaven, yes, indeed. Yes, sir. what a day of rejoicing yes, that will be. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, and the people of God said, Amen, and Amen, and a Amen. Oh, God, today. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hmm. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let's move on into prayer time. That was a prayer period we, go, we just did in remembrance. We always say We all stand in the need of prayer. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Even if you say you don't need prayer, I don't want anyone to pray for you. We know something. That, we know the devil got you. That's why you talk like that. But, but we're going to pray for you anyway. Amen. Yeah. Anybody had a hard time this week? <laughs> Problem on the job, disturbance at home within the family, have a sick member in the family. Anybody be dealing with any pain this week? And I don't know about you, but I have to call on him. I just said, Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. 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 Yes. 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 I keep telling you, when I be doing that, I, I be doing it out in public, and folks look at me. I know. I, I don't matter. Just praise Woo. him. Just praise him. Our church family, those who are sick, you know who they are on our sick and shut in list. Healing can take place, or we know they can get better. They can get better. God is able. God is able. Yes, he is. Those who are at home, recuperating, those who are in some type of 
rehab, a facility, a nursing home, God is there with him. Yes, he is. Be mindful that this week, and Sister Essie Reef was in the hospital for a few days. And she don't mind calling her name, amen. She said, Reverend, tell them to pray for me, amen. Sister Essie, Essie Reef, amen. Some kind of infection she had, but I, the Lord is going to take care of that infection. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Woo! Good God Almighty. She might have to have a little rehab, but that's all right. She said, Reverend, I'm, I'm 96. <laughs> I'm still here. A lot of them going home. Oh, yeah. And she said, later on in this month of November, I'm going to have a birthday. I'm going to be 97. Hello. Glory. Hallelujah. What a spirit she is. Sister Essie Reed. We're praying for you, darling. And I know you're getting better, getting well. Thanks be to God for, for the care that you receive. That you have those young ladies there at the house. Hallelujah. Come and see about you while you're in the hospital and all. And oh, looking after you, amen. Bless you. And this is what we call this month Caregivers Appreciation Month. Yes, yes. Caregivers. Appreciation, but thanks be to God for all those caregivers out there. Amen. Woo! Especially those who are taking care of family members. Yes, yes. Amen. It's not easy. And you know, sometimes families have to share the load. Oh, yes. You stay a while, then I go stay a while, then I come in and stay a while. Because we want to make sure that our loved ones are taken care of the right way. Amen. Yes, yes. And even when we put them in some type of nursing home or facility, we still got to go out there and check on them. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, we do. We don't throw them away. We go out and check on them daily. Hallelujah to those caregivers. Caregivers, God bless you. God strengthen you. I know you get tired, you get weak, but just said, call on Jesus. Yes. Call on Jesus. Yes. Woo! He like my mama, you know. Sometimes she says stuff and would just make you mad. <laughs> Especially my sister, she was the primary, the one in Houston. She'll call me on the phone. You better come get your mama. <laughs> uh, Y'all know how, how it is. Amen. And if we keep living, we're going to get that way. Amen. And we're going to want someone to take care of us. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Sick and shut in. We know who they are. Those in the hospital, caregivers, appreciation month. And also, as we're going for prayer, this is, National Diabetes Awareness Month. If I was said, raise up your hand, those of you that know about diabetes, everybody got to raise up their hand, though. Anybody know about diabetes? You know someone in the family dealing with it? <laughs> you know some friend that has to deal with it? National Diabetes Awareness Month. Let us get ourselves checked out. Yes. Stay on top of it. Oh, yeah. Got to stay on top of it. Oh, yes. God is good. God is good. All right. All right. Come on. Where you are? In your house, in your room, in your bedroom, in your bed, in your chair. Heads bowed, eyes closed. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Lord, we have humbled ourselves before you. Your word says a broken and contrite heart is what is acceptable to you. We've been broken, Lord. 
We thought we were in, in control, but we have found out that we are not. We thought who we were and what we had to solve everything, but we're finding out it doesn't do anything. Lord, we don't mind acknowledging right now that yes, we hurt. We cry, we mourn. Sometimes, oh Lord, we want to fly away and be at rest. This old world is beating us down. Yeah, we have faith and we believe, but still, oh God, it's hard. Tragedy happening every day. Things unexpected happening every second. Bad news all day and all night long. Lord is going from funeral to funeral. Sometimes can't get to the funeral. Oh Lord. COVID is on the decrease, but people are still sick and dying from it. Children are being affected. So now, Lord, we are being tested to see how strong is our faith. And Lord, we must acknowledge that sometimes our faith, our faith is not as strong as we thought it was. But hopefully as we go through these endeavors day in and day out, we'll be able to say in the end that I'm stronger, oh, yes. I'm wiser yes. for what I have been through. Oh, yes. Yes. Now, Lord, be with family members, wherever they are. We can't be there all the time, but someone is there looking after them. Thank you for those caregivers and other members of the family. Help us to chip in and do what we can. Yes. And as we go forth, help us to take care of our bodies. Help us to try to keep them strong, for they are your temple. Help us to be aware of what's going on in our bodies. And we, oh God, would do what we need to do that we might continue to be able to do your will and to bring your kingdom here on earth. Yes. Now, oh God, we thank you for this moment. We feel better, so much better, when we can take everything to you in prayer. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And the people of God said, Amen. amen. And amen. amen. And amen. amen. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Hey.
Grady Jr., you feel all right? I feel better, so much better. Just to let you know a few things coming up next Sunday, our veterans Amen. service, Amen. our veterans Amen. worship service, showing love and appreciation to our veterans, Amen. especially those here at Wesley, they will be leading the service next Sunday. You got that? Yes, sir. Amen. You, yeah, all right. Amen. Yeah, well, we want people to tune in. Mm -hmm. All right, spread the word. The veterans, I don't know if they're going to be wearing their uniforms or not. Some of us will be. Something, something will be. All right. I know one will be. One will be, right. yeah, one will be. One will be anyway. Yeah, that's Brother Grady Elliott up here. Yeah. He can still get in here. Amen. <laughs> All right, amen. amen. All right, he still got it. He still got it, amen. <laughs> That's good. The veterans next Sunday. All right, brother Ed Kearney is the leader of this, the coordinator. He's in the house right now, amen. Ed Kearney is putting the service together as, as he has done for the last several years. And it is always, to me, outstanding. Yes. That's why I keep asking for it. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. So uh, he's getting that service. Well, I know military people plan ahead. He already got it together. Amen. <laughs> All right. Yes. And uh, look, Brother Don Tisdale is the speaker. Amen. Brother Don Tisdale. Amen. Okay. Amen. I, amen. Brother Don, amen. All right, then. Now, he's going to bring it. Oh, yes. oh, I'm telling you. He's going to bring it. He's already working on it. Amen. He's fired up. Amen. Amen. And you want to hear Brother Don Tisdale, our lay servant, lay speaker at Wesley. And he, he's just, he's ready. He, oh, as he always tell me, he stays ready. Yes, he does. He All said, right. just call on me at any time. You can call on me five minutes before service, and I'm ready, <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, well, will you stay ready? Amen. Yes, All right. So uh, we're looking forward to that. All right, next Sunday, 
our veterans service where we observe Veterans Day here at Wesley United Methodist Church. All right. And then that, uh, the 13th, that Saturday, the Prayer Shaw Ministry Bazaar. Amen. November the 13th. It's this coming Saturday. All right. It's a bazaar. They're going to they go, they have jam, jellies, cakes, and pies, quilts, and hats. Huh? Huh? Amen. They're going to have a They have everything. Amen. You don't have peanut butter and all that. So, uh, but you're going to want to be here. To come by. It starts at what? 12 noon. 12 noon. High noon. 12 noon. This coming Saturday. All right. All right. And we want you to come on by. You can bring money. Bring money because you got to buy. You just don't come by to visit. Amen. You know. Come by to buy, purchase. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. They know the drill. People know to come, bring the money. Uh, I don't know if they're going to. Let me check. Brother Willie, can they bring their credit card? Yes. Yes, they can. Okay. Yeah. You can even bring your credit card. Amen. All right. Oh, you can buy a whole lot then. Amen. Two or $300 worth. Amen. All right. All right then. So that's the Prayer Shaw Ministry Bazaar this coming Saturday, 13th, from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Three hours. Here on the grounds of Wesley United Methodist Church, they will be outside and just come on by. Amen. They will be glad to take care of you. Okay? And we know the leader of that ministry is Sister Juanita Stevens. Okay? And we know the ministry that they do. Don't have to say any more. We know the ministry that they do. So let us support them in this yearly endeavor that they do this bazaar. Praise God. Praise, Praise God. God. Praise God. Praise God. All right, then. We thank God for what we've been doing and our young people, yeah. what they've yeah. been doing on they last did. week. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. Our young people here at Wesley, our called the Children's Sunday Observance, which our children and youth and young adults middle-aged adults and older adults. It was intergenerational. Yes. All right, that's what it's all about. Amen. Amen. All came together and put on this service that we had last Sunday, our children's Sabbath observance. Praise God. Praise God. All those young people that were on program, the parts that they did, the singing, amen, the speaking parts that they had, yes. prayer time that they had, Speak of the hour, ooh, yeah, God, today, amen. amen. So it was wonderful. Amen. I love all of those who put it together. I know Sister Sandra Johnson and Lydia Williams and Janice Jean amen. and Sister Malone, amen, Let them alone. Amen. Yeah. All the other musicians, and amen. amen. And I was just amen. enjoying it, I was just here, amen. amen. All right. And, we was able to confirm one young person Amen. into the life of our church. Yes. Now, I don't know, since we've been out, I think he's the only one that we have had to join. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. Put that down in history. Where is that? Where is it? All right. Then. Sister Youngblood, you got I'll that? Make, that really. make sure you got that and put that in history. That Trey Trey. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we... <laughs> It's Glenn Eric Lewis the third. All right, he was confirmed into the church, and I know some say like, like me. He said, "Well, he's so young. Well, he's we gonna still have to disciple him." Oh yes. Amen. Now that's where we mess up. After young people join, we quit discipling. We still got to train them. Amen. Train them. Uh huh. Jesus. All right. They don't know anything more. They still got to be trained. Amen. 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 We got to be willing to, uh, we got to know the word too to train. Amen. Amen. Yes, all sir. right. So make sure you do that. Trey, Trey, and all the other youth around here, we still got to disciple them. 
Yes. And it's just not on those who are leading them, Sister Sandra, Sister Lydia. It takes a village. Yes, it does. It takes a village church. Amen. And we said we want to do more things for them. Volunteer. Mm -hmm. Amen. Volunteer. Amen. 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 Yes. And when you volunteer, we got to get we got to get do a background check on you. Yes. Yes. Amen. You work with our children and youth, you got to, we got to do a background check. That, that's the law of the land and the law of the church. Protect our kids. All right. That's just the way it is in the times we're living. That's right. Okay. So we got to do that. What is that? Are you, what are you looking at the clock? All right. I didn't know. Uh -oh. hey, Amen. I know they probably say I'm talking too long, but I'm not right. But I'm going to preach short today, folks out there. Amen. We're going to be out of here. Amen. All right then. Praise God. Praise God. It's all good. You know, I love you all. <laughs> Amen. All right. Okay then. We got all of that. Hey, time for communion. Communion time, my brothers and sisters. The first Sunday. You are at home. You will take communion there in your space. Your home is your sanctuary space right now. I have found out that the Lord is everywhere. You know when we said the Lord is surely in this place? Yes. We're just talking about right here, but we're also talking about in your home, yeah. in your car, at work, when you're flying, when you're on that cruise, the Lord is what? There. Yes, he is. So the Lord is in, in your home. And you somebody probably said, well, I didn't let him in. You don't have to, he's already there. Amen, yeah. huh? Amen. He's everywhere. He's omnipresent. Yes. He's there. How do you know that? Well, who do you think woke you up? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. How is it possible for you to see and to hear right now? It's by the grace of God. Those who are there with you in your home, gather them around. As we prepare to take communion as the family of God, regardless of your denomination, if you are a sinner, you're like the rest of us, a sinner saved by grace. Come on, it's for you too. For God so loved the what world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life the table is open here the table is open there in your home all are welcome taste and see taste An open communion. All are welcome. The body, the blood. He didn't have to, but thank you, Lord. Prepare yourself, humble your heart. Gather your children, your grandkids. Taking your element now, the body of Christ. Your way for your cracker, your bread. Taking it now.
deep down in your heart by faith with thanksgiving. Taste and see the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ taking your cup. It represents the blood of the new covenant. Blood was shed for all of us. Good news. Let us now take and drink together. Praise God, folks. Well, beautiful, Amen. beautiful service, beautiful service. Hallelujah. Look, just want to remind you quickly that don't forget to give financially. Amen. Don't forget to give financially. Online, send it, drop it by, however you want to do it. But hey, mm -hmm. November and December, we'd like to close out the year strong financially. November Amen. and December. Amen. Amen. Between November and December, we'd like to bring in at least $100,000. Okay? That just fit, that's, that's only 50000 a month. Amen. All right. Now that's today's time. Today's time, that's nothing, folks. Okay? But we just need to all go ahead and give. All right? All of us go ahead and give. We will be all right. Okay? Okay. All right. If you're behind, let's catch up. November, December, we got to come strong. On our financial giving, we still need funds, okay? Amen. And uh, we don't want to wait until we get in terrible shape. Mm -hmm. You have to be saying, oh, folks, oh, no, no, no. I'm letting you know now. Let's, let's give strong now. Yes, sir. And we will be able to meet all our obligations. And you know, when you start asking for things, and I tell you, you can tell when it's running short. When we tell you, well, we got to wait, we got to check. Amen. That means we got to see about it. Okay, but go ahead and give, folks. Please. Amen. Please. 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 And uh, the church needs it, and our ministries need it. Amen. Amen. And if you want us to reach out more in the community and give to this and give to that, it takes what? Money. Okay, so give first of the month, rest of the month, and then December, we're going to do what? About 100,000, close out strong. Yes, sir. Close out strong. Only 100,000. Praise God. Praise Amen. God. Amen. 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 Look, the government be asking for trillions of dollars. Amen. We only asking for 100,000. Amen. Amen. The Biden, don't they ask for trillions? Yes, sir. And we only asking for 100,000. Amen. Okay. Amen. That, that, that's nothing. Amen. All right, church. Let us be that kind of church that we are cheer for givers and we love the Lord. Amen. 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 All right. Amen.
Someone asked the question. Someone asked the question. Why do we sing? Why do we sing? When we lift our hands. When we lift our hands to Jesus. What do we really mean? What do we really mean? Someone may be wondering. Someone may be wondering. When we sing our song. When we sing our song. At times we may. At times we may. And nothing's even wrong. And nothing's even wrong. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. I sing because I'm free. His eye is on the sparrow. His eye is on the sparrow. That's the reason why. That's the reason why I sing. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. You're the reason why. You're the reason why. Someone asked a question. Someone asked a question. Why do we sing? Why do we sing? When we lift our hands. When we lift our hands to Jesus. What do we really mean? What do we really mean? Someone may be wondering. Someone may be wondering. When we sing our song. When we sing our song. At times we may. Just keep on singing. Study war no more. We will sing our song. You're the reason why. You're the reason why I sing. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 
Amen. Thanks be to God for the music ministry. Oh, yes. Oh, hallelujah for these spirits to get out and come out and, and let us know the reason why they sing. Amen. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Praise God. Look, let us go. make sure everybody go ahead and start. If you haven't got no shots yet, vaccines and boosters, let's start getting them, amen? Because I'm feeling it here. I'm, I'm starting getting ready to want to come back. All right, but uh, now get these shots, get these shots, all right? All right, because when we come back, I might want to shake hands, might want to hug a little bit, amen. And all right, isn't that right? All right, so let us get those shots, amen. All right, I got, so I got to give him a booster yet, all right. All right, Brother Grady's got his, all right. Y'all got y'all's, okay, ooh, I'm the only one that got, ooh, okay. Well, I'm going to work on getting mine this week, all right, church family. Get those boosters and uh, so we can then get the children. It's ready to get those, what, age 5 through 11? Okay, we need to get those. Make sure our children get their shots. Okay, amen, amen. And then we'll be ready to come on back. Hallelujah. All right, get those shots now. Get those shots. Okay, okay. Look, we just want to acknowledge that the, uh, we got a check here from the Kappa Alpha Psi fraternity. All right, all right. The Kappa Alpha Psi fraternity, the Austin alumni. All right, all right. That's one of the great fraternities in the country. One of the great fraternities that we have in the country. And uh, we're so glad to, that for that fraternity, they do so many good things, and great things. And one of our members, uh, Brother Grady Elliott, it's been a long time member of, the, of that fraternity. All right, okay, and so they, they're giving a donation to the communion stewards. A financial donation to the communion See, see, I like that. They, they are specifying where they want it to go. Amen. I mean, I can't pay buy this and that with it. Amen. It's got to go for, strictly for communion items and things they want to do. Okay. Are they giving it in memory of Sister Margaret? Are they giving it in memory of Sister Margaret Elliot? Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, Kappa of Austin area and vicinity, amen. And that, okay, somebody, I think I hear somebody say, well, how much, Reverend? Okay, uh, well, it's $175, $175, all right. Thank you, Brother Grady Elliott. Say hello to the Kappas. Let them know that when we open the doors, we ready for them to come back. I want them to worship here and be down front. Amen. Be my special guest. Amen. They don't, they don't, huh? Pass it along. They don't have to wait till old Founders Day. I want them to come on. Amen. All right. I want them to come on and worship here at Wesley. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. All right then. Thank you, Kappas. All right then. So, uh, I want to share a word, short word. Won't be but a few, really, I'm really going to be a few minutes. We're going to hit this and be through today. Uh, this is a short word from the, the Old Testament. I'm going to come from the psalmist. The psalmist, the psalmist, the psalmist. In the 32nd book of Psalm, the 32nd book of Psalm, 32nd book of Psalm, 
And I want you to come down with me to verse 8. Verse 8, Psalm 32, verse 8. And I'm going to be reading out of the NIV Bible translation. Psalm 32, verse 8, from the NIV New International Version, reads, very simple, and you done heard this many times. The Lord is speaking. The Psalm of David. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. We want to focus on that first part that says there in verse 8, I will. No, no, that's the Lord speaking. Amen. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. From that particular verse of Scripture, the Lord is saying in that verse, let me guide you. Let me guide you. Not too many people anymore like to be told what to do. I said not too many. I don't know, we might have one or two people in the world. But a lot of people don't like to be told what, what to do. You notice, and I don't have any, but I notice even children don't like to be told what to do. Hmm? Well, some of you have grandkids. And I hear you shouting at them, come on here, stop that, huh? And they go right on, huh? Hmm? They don't like to be what? Told what to do. And I sure know you can't tell grown-ups anything. Hmm? Now I said you sure can't tell grown-ups anything what to do. Those of you who are married, you can't tell each other what to do. Uh-huh. Isn't that right? No, no, ain't no use. You know, you know, you be speaking to your mate and you be wondering, do they, do they hear you or not? Huh? Isn't that right? Oh. The, world, the Lord is saying, let me guide you. Can't tell Republicans what to do. Can't tell the Democrats what to do. Huh? And we say that in God we trust. Mm -hmm. In God, we what? And you at some type of public political affair, you got to watch how you pray the prayer. 
You got to make the prayer be po politically correct. <laughs> huh? Yeah, they, they ask you for a copy. Uh, 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 Pastor, you, you got to take this part out. <laughs> hmm? The Lord says here in this 32nd book of Psalm that I will instruct you. What is that? And teach you in the way you should go. That means we might have to let that phrase, it's my thing, I do what I want to do, go. Because it said, he said, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. Yeah, here, yeah, here, yeah, here, yeah, here, yeah, here, yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even us in the church, we don't like to be told what to do, even though it's the word of God. Mm -hmm. I even saw an article this week. They say it's, 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 it's heating up in the Methodist church. It says it's heating up as they are talking about a split. They say, they say, say it's starting to get heated up again. See, here, now, see the pandemic is ending a little bit now. <laughs> and they're ready to heat up again. <laughs> huh? That, it's, all, it's all in the news and articles everywhere, huh? Oh, they said, oh, that's said they're going to get heated up. Uh-huh. But nobody is saying what thus says the Lord. Well, here now, my brothers and sisters, I've stopped by to tell you that you and I, we can know God's will for our lives. If you really want to know God's will. You know, we're quick to say, not my will, but what thy will be done, huh? Hmm? And the Lord promises, he promises, if you want to know the Lord's will for your life, I promise you that I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. Let me give you some guidance the Lord is saying. A lot of times on programs and on annual days, we, we, we come up with that phrase from the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 6, when it says, In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Huh? Well, you know, we use that as a theme here and there, huh? In all your ways, acknowledge what? Him. And I don't find out if I don't acknowledge some of you all, whoo! You know, I acknowledge God, but you know what I'm saying? You didn't call my name. Huh? You know, I, I, I've been to programs now where at the end, everybody gets up and do their thank yous. And that's another 30 minutes. They got to thank everything. I have to thank the flies and the birds and the water pitchers. And, amen, huh? Ain't that, ain't that right? Ain't that right? All right, right? All right. But the text says, in all your ways, acknowledge him. And he shall direct your paths. Huh? Isn't that the word? Yeah, I, I'm looking for some guidance here, huh? Yeah, I, I, I need guidance. You need guidance. God wants you to move. Listen up. He, he wants you to move. He wants me to move from guesswork to guidance. Did you, you didn't hear that, huh? He wants us to move from what? Guesswork to guidance. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh. We're we, we just guessing. Everything now just guessing. But, but the Lord said, look at me in all my ways. Acknowledge me and I shall direct you your past. Well, if we're going to move from guesswork to guidance, it's going to require us to do four things. And then I'm finished. Huh? 
All right. If I want to move from what? Guesswork to guidance. And I'm ready now to heed to the word of God. And I want him to instruct and to teach me in the way that I should go. These are the four things that I'm going to need to do. Well, first of all, put this down. No, you need to know that God's will begins with surrendering your will. Ooh. Huh? Huh? You, you want to know what God's will is, what we need to be about? We, you, first of all, you need to know that God's will will begin with you surrendering your will. Oh, I got to be the boss. I got to be the boss. I got to be the boss. Huh? You know, huh? we got to be the boss. We don't want to surrender, huh? Huh? You know, you know, uh, no, no. Well, you know, we sing that around here, those, the singers, y'all singers out here, you, you, you sing that song, I surrender all, huh? Y'all remember what y'all saying? Huh? Y'all say, I surrender what? right? Knowing God's will begins with you surrendering your will. Mm, oh, I don't know if I can do that. I hear people saying that already, huh? And so how can the Lord instruct you and teach you if you won't surrender your will? Jesus says in the book of John, that's in the New Testament, chapter 5, in verse 30, John chapter 5, verse 30. I'm, I'm in the Bible now. I'm in the Bible. From the New American Standard Version translation, Jesus says, he says this, I do not seek my own will, but the will of him who sent me. Oh, now, now, now Jesus says, I, 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 I can't do my will, huh? That's Jesus talking, huh? Uh-huh. Uh, but I got to do the will of him who sent me, God the Father, huh? Isn't that right? Now, if the son has to surrender his will to God the Father, don't you think we got to surrender our will? Yeah, knowing God's will begins with us, what? Surrendering our will. Well, that's why folks going around in the church, I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what the Lord wants me to do. Well, you haven't surrendered your will. All right, all right, all right. You only, listen up, you only recognize God's will as you learn to lay aside your own will. And that only gets easy when you start practicing that. Woo! Huh? What did I say? You only recognize God's will as you learn to lay aside your what? Own will. And that only will get easier when you put that into what? Practice. Well, if I'm looking for guidance, I got to surrender my will to what? To God's will. Amen. Second, I'm looking for some guidance. You have to keep a spiritual mindset. A spiritual mindset. I know we don't, we don't want to be talking spiritual in the world too much now. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Uh -huh. A spiritual mindset, a holy mindset. Huh? <laughs> it is not possible, and I, I, and I really believe this, it's not possible to sense God's will while you are controlled by self-interest. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you're in 
to it trying to find out what can I get out of it. Not whether I can help somebody or what the Lord might be leading us to do. What can I get out of it? What recognition, what fame, what glory can I get out of it? But see, if I'm looking for God's guidance, I got to learn to keep a spiritual mind set. Yeah, see, the carnal, the carnal mind is hostile to God. Yeah, yeah. It does not submit to God's law, nor can it do so. The carnal mind, huh? It, 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 that's, that's you, the carnal mind. That, 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 that's humankind mind. It's hostile to God. It does not submit to what? God's law. Nor can it do so. That's why things won't change because we got that carnal mind. We don't have a spiritual mind set. Well, let's, let's see, y'all. Okay, that, that is found in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 7. In the NIV, it says, the carnal mind is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law, nor can it do so. Woo! The carnal mind, they can meet and have a Ford session downtown there. Huh? But if they still got those carnal minds, nothing's going to change. Hmm? Same thing up in Washington, huh? Uh-huh. They ain't done nothing but yelling and shouting and cussing each other out. Isn't that right? It's not possible to sense God's will if you are controlled by what? Self-interest. And most of the leaders, and us included too, we just in it for self-interest. Me, myself, and I. So if we're going to be led by God, we got to know God's will begins with surrendering our will. Second, I said we got to keep a what? Spiritual mindset. And then third, how I'm going to get God's guidance. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for God's guidance. I'm let him guide me. You have to pray. Oh, Lord. You have to pray for God's guidance. You have to pray for God's guidance. David, King David, and the psalmist in the 143rd book of Psalms. If you will come down to verse 10, it reads, David is speaking, teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit Lead me. Ooh. David is, is praying for who, who's got it? God got it. Did y'all find that? It says, teach me to do your will. Lord, teach me. Huh? I'm too crazy myself to know. <laughs> huh? To do your will. It says it there. For you are my God. May your good spirit lead me. Huh? Yeah, you say guide me. You know, we used to sing that too. Lead me, guide me along the way. Lord, if you lead me, I will not stray. Oh! <laughs> now, you do know that if we don't pray for God's guidance, we're just singing to be singing. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Now, in the book of James, y'all don't mind me staying in the Bible today. The book of James, chapter 1, verse 5 in the New Living Translation, it says, if you need wisdom, ask our generous God, and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. I'm looking for guidance, so I got to what? Pray. 
for God. God said, that's why I can't do it on my own. Amen. And then fourth, and then we'll finish. Amen. I, I sure hope y'all getting something out of this. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, uh. The Lord, I'm looking for guidance. Let me lead you, he said. Fourth. We have to read God's word with a heart that is open to hear from him. Ooh. I'm looking for who's got it. God's got it. That I'm going to learn to read God's word. Amen. Now read it. With God's word with a heart that is open to hear, to hear, H-E-A-R, from him. You know, we just read. Huh? I was just reading, amen, huh? Did you hear what they said? Oh, yeah, they said something. I don't know what the preacher up there. He was up there. I don't know what was wrong with him, huh? But you got to read God's word with a heart that is open to hear from him. Huh? See, it, it says in the 119th book of Psalm, y'all don't mind me standing that word a little bit, huh? In verse 105, in the message translation, it reads, by your words, I can see where I am going. They throw a beam of light on my dark path. But I got to read God's word with a heart that is open to him, to hear from him. Daily, listen up, listen up, listen up, saints. Listen up. Daily exposure to the word of God. <laughs> Did you hear me say daily? And it says Sunday. <laughs> exposure. That's all right, too, but I'm looking for you to have daily exposure to the word of God. What will it do, pastor? Well, let me tell you. It would help you to recognize the voice of God when he speaks to you. Hello, somebody. Huh? I got daily ex exposure, huh? And that means, you, you know, you hear something, you say, the Lord is speaking to me. I done heard that time and time again, that, that verse of scripture, but, but today my heart was open for me to hear the word of God speaks to me. And you know it says in John chapter 10, in verse 4, it says that the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. Oh, Lord, speak, Lord. Speak. And I know when it's the Lord speaking. And when it's not Trump speaking. Huh? I know when it's the Lord speaking. When it's not Biden speaking, huh? See, see, he, he, he got that still, small voice. That I can tell that he's trying to guide me and to lead me with love and inspiration and give me hope to open up those that have been closed. I can hear the Lord calling my name. That's why I heard some of y'all singers say, hush. 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 Somebody Calling my name. What in the world wrong with you jump out telling me to hush? Small voice. And it sounds like Jesus. He's calling my name. 
Teach me, Lord. Guide me. Lead me not part of the way, but lead me all the way home. And I want to hear you say, well done. Because I let you lead me. You've been faithful over a few things, Chase. Come on up. And I'll make you ruler over a minute. Let me teach you. Let me instruct you. Let me take you by the hand. Lead me, Lord. Whoa, what's wrong with you? Letting the Lord lead me. I don't care what y'all saying. <laughs> lead me. God. See, I don't care how you talk about me. But I let the Lord lead me. And guide me. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, he's all right. He done brought me a mighty long way. When I was down and out, he made a way out of what? No way. When I didn't know which way to go, the Lord said, take my hand. Precious Lord. Y'all remember that? Precious Lord, take my hand. What does it say? What? Lead me. What? Guide me, what? Yes, lead me, Lord. So the Lord is saying, let me. Do. Let me read that scripture again, because some of y'all act like I, I wasn't preaching the word. It said, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And the people said, Amen. Amen and Amen. Thank you. Woo! Oh, my, 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 my. The invitation. The invitation, the invitation to Christian discipleship, the invitation. If you want to recommit, re rejoin, if you want to come for prayer, if you need to get your house in order, the Lord will say, I'm here. And you, Pastor, you, you are there and I'm here in my home. Well, I told you early in the service, the Lord yes. is in this place. Yes. Yes. And when I said this place, I'm just not talking about 1164 San Bernard. Uh -huh. I'm talking about your place, 2204 Leslie Avenue, All right. All right. 1101 Cunningham Street. All right. He's there. He's there, he's there in your house. Yes. There'll be one who wants to listen, to, open up your heart and let the word of the Lord speak to you as we have our imitational song coming from our music ministry. They are ready to sing a song to touch our hearts. <clears throat> to let us all know where the Lord is right now. Some people say I can't find him. All I think I can say, look around. Oh, yes. Look around in your bedroom. Oh, yes. In your living room. In your bedroom, at your kitchen table, on your couch, in your lounging chair, easy chair. I said, just look around and open up your heart. And the Lord is saying, right now I'm here with you where you are. 
come. <clears throat> Lifting up your heart. Opening up your hands to receive him. The Lord. The Lord. Oh! 
I'm right there by your side. I'm in each and every breath that you breathe. I'm all over your body. I'm there. I don't care where you go. I'm there. You don't have to be at 1164. I'm there too, but I'm on Poquito Street. I'm in Maina. I'm in Round Rock. I'm in St. Marcus. I'm in Marion. I'm in Houston. I'm in Pflugerville. I'm there. I want you to know. 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 I'm that still small voice. Glory, glory, amen. hallelujah, amen. and amen. Hallelujah. I was to extend, yours to accept, amen. 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 Grady Jr., was everything all right? Okay, amen, amen. 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 I got, got the young Grady Elliott, amen. Right, amen. Right. He's in the house. Yeah. All the way from what, New Jersey? Amen. New amen. Jersey. Amen. Hey, Welcome. Welcome. man. Thank you for coming to see about dad. <laughs> amen. Yeah. I can say that some kids never come to check on parents. Amen. How long are you going to stay a while, aren't you? <laughs> Look at that. He come to stay a week. Hey, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 All right. He'll take care of you, though. Whatever you need. All expenses on dad. All right. All right. Look, it's been a great day. We thank God for it. Thank you for this worshipful service. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I enjoyed myself. I know it was a little long today. Woo, I keep saying we're going to get shorter, but we will. We will. But I'm telling you, I'm getting filled with the spirit. Amen. Amen. Now, look, next week is that veterans service. Woo, veterans service. Amen. They're going to be sharp. They're going to be up. They ready, ready, ready. Well, hey, man, I'm telling you, they fired up. Brother, like I said, Brother Kern is already in the house. Amen, amen. He, hey, man, he's military coming. Check it out. He's going to get things ready. It started a week early. Hey, amen. Hey, amen. And we love him. And we thank God for his wife. Hey, amen. Is with him. Hey, amen. Sister Joyce Kern today. Hey, amen. Amen. I, I know she always gets some good looking flowers. You got flowers today? Hey, amen. Amen. See, cause, amen. Look here, they trust me one year to get some flour, and I got some off-color stuff. And I told the guy at the florist, I said, they're not going to go with you and I pick. There was another guy at the florist that worked there. He said, how do you know? I said, I know my ladies at my church. Amen. They don't want this dull-looking stuff. Amen. <laughs> amen. And Sister Kearney called them. Amen. They had to change the order. Amen. All right. <laughs> All right. Look here. The Lord is in this place. Yes, where you are, and let him guide you. Uh, take you from what? Guesswork. Huh? To the real thing. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay. All right. Let's close it out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Enjoy the day. Enjoy your family. Love on one another. Give each other hugs there in the house.
Good to see you too, Miss Linda Robinson. Hallelujah to you for being in the house. Oh yeah, thanks be to the Lord. And now as we go, I'm going to be open to doing the Lord's will because I'm going to surrender my will. And I'm going to have a spiritual mindset this week. Woo! And I'm going to be open to receiving God's word. Let him speak to me. Are you going to do that? To let him instruct and teach. So now go in the name of the Father and go in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit. As we once again close out by saying how great. See you next Sunday. Say a prayer for all the veterans yes. this week. Amen. Amen. Amen.